I as of late met my twin flame, or so I thought. I have gone this way and that about whether twin flames are even genuinely each day since a post I expounded on it, and most likely flown off the handle about 1000 times. Such is the twin flame venture. You can choose for yourself, however, I accept that at the very least, this individual was extraordinarily prepared to push me past my profound limits toward a more significant level of enlivening, and I'd never met anybody like that, growing further, into more disputable beliefs, he was bound to meet me brilliantly to take me on a wild and great excursion of my spirit. Might it be said that he was in a real sense a reflection of me? Perhaps. Yet, that is not the mark of this post. The point is to investigate how associations with others can push you to track down new facts about existence. Heaps of individuals reacted to that post about my twin flame. Some were distrustful, and some had been on their twin flame ventures. The distrustful ones were truly overlooking the main issue, what's the point? All things considered, a twin flame venture, regardless of how genuine it appears to you or others, is a gift since it sets out the freedom to get to know yourself. It allows you to love yourself profoundly assuming you play it right. Regardless of your acceptance, you can receive the rewards of leaving yourself alone extended by difficult encounters. Along these lines, there's a phase in the twin flame venture when the twins are isolated. Envision. The most mind-boggling love you've at any point experienced has been torn away from you fiercely. You can stay there and allow that to decimate you with anguish and bitterness, or you can spread your wings and break liberated from the common experience that has been said in your life, allow me to clarify, inner self versus unity, the aggravation in your life is there on purpose. It isn't there to make your life hopeless. No difference either way. Since you can encounter torment without affliction, your aggravation, regardless of whether it be from a twin flame venture or some other sort of awfulness, has been given to you as a gift at the point when the aggravation emerges, you are welcome to look one of two different ways. One way, you can surrender to the self-image and investigate the experience brought about by the profound sensation of division, which is indeed a deception. Assuming you take no notice, you can feel the unity and all-out self-love of the universe and comprehend that things occur on purpose, which one would it be a good idea for you to pick? It's self-evident, but at the same time, it's undeniably challenging. The features of the self-image are extremely tempting that the majority of us pick inner self over unity. It's so delightful when we're in love, on a high, that we structure attachments to these sentiments, and we let our self-images persuade us that we want someone else to fulfill us. In this way, when that individual cancels their love, it seems like the world has been broken, since the inner self has taken such a solid hang on our insights, you were rarely independent, and you'll understand this when you embrace unity, assuming that you can take no notice toward unity and confidence in the universe, you'll have the option to course through the hardships of your existence easily, twin flames and the push, twin flames, whatever they may be, share something certain for all intents and purpose. They push you toward an otherworldly arousing such that you couldn't in any way, shape, or form insight in some other way. They provide you with a guarantee of ideal association with another person, and afterward permit you to encounter disillusionment, constraining you to live without that ideal association to perceive how insane things can get, you get a brief look at the best magnificence that the universe has inside it, and afterward, it's removed. It's impossible that you can't develop from this experience, you begin to see that all connections you've had up to that point were fine for friendship and love, yet they didn't challenge you profoundly, as far as I might be concerned, I was in torment for a little while, and afterward, I hurled myself entirely into internal work. I began sorting out my instabilities in general and dealing with them. I observed that I needed self-love significantly, and my undertaking was to love myself as profoundly as I could love another human. 
is there any good reason why I shouldn't show myself love, regard, and pardoning? Assuming that I could part with it with such ease, I understood that any weaknesses and triggers I was encountering in the relationship were my opportunities to recuperate and relinquish psychological weight. I halted and zeroed in on mending my injuries. My karma was being purified. I observed each justification for why I wasn't enough for me and why my attachments were making me insane and zeroed in on those things profoundly. I am. Recuperating is a ceaseless excursion, the push toward being a superior human isn't anything to mess with. The aggravation is important for the rising, it's for humanity, for what reason would it be a good idea for you to attempt to be better? rather than remaining in your 3D self-image-based presence, unfit to recuperate or even move. What advantage is there in doing the profound work that is given to you by the relationship with another human? It's for all of humankind, individuals, assuming you become the most ideal sort of human conceivable, it adds that energy to the system. It rouses others. It moves them on unadulterated energy levels. It raises the energy of the entire planet, you're not simply doing this for you. No love you can encounter is simply among you and that individual. It's a love that validates love is conceivable. It's persuasive, assuming you can likewise demonstrate that self-love is feasible to the world, then, at that point, you've given most of us a significant illustration past any remaining things that can be procured throughout everyday life, thanks to you thus, seek self-love. Seek after genuine romance. Remain confident. Also, utilize your aggravation to rise.